YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let's talk about what's going on with Neo Stock now. I thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit that thumbs up as we continue to grow the channel. I greatly would appreciate it. Now, Neo today had a pretty nice day. At one point, this thing uh, was up to, I want to say, close to $6. Uh, $6.03 was the high of the day. Now, after we touched $6.00, we got rejected, came back down to about 580. So from that point, we had a little bit of buying that that happened, and we ended up closing the day at about five dollars and eighty-one cent. And you can see in the post market, this thing is is up a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what happened today, why the stock is up, and. Uh, you know, a lot of people are happy because it is. So it says this. Today's move comes after a Wall Street analyst became bullish on the company and its new mass market brand. The stock is now up by about 33% over the last three months. All right, because you guys remember, this thing at one point was under $4 and it was going to start the knock on $350 but at about 363 i think there was some buying that occurred around there and there was a, a complete turnaround now it also goes to say this the first model from neo's new brand according to reports um eugene Haseo boosted his rating on neo to the equivalent of a buy on monday he previously had a neutral rating on the stock uh, six dollars and sixty cent was the price target that would represent a gain of twenty five point five percent from Friday's closing price, and uh, Eugene upgraded the stock because he thinks Neo's fourth quarter sales could get a boost from a new catalyst. Okay, now October is the first full month for shipments of Neo's new Envo brand. The Envo L60 midsize SUV has a low starting price of about $30,000 and is intended to take on Tesla's Model Y. Now, investors took note of Eugene's optimistic belief that the Envo model will accelerate sales for NEO in the fourth quarter. Now, NEO should provide guidance for the fourth quarter when it reports Q3 results. And those results should be released in the next several weeks. Now, investors may already have been anticipating Envo becoming a new catalyst to increase sales. But if the company impresses investors with updates on the new brand, there could still be more room for Neo shares to run. So this is overall good news for Neo, But the question is going to remain for now. Um, is this enough to keep this stock moving to the upside? Will we continue to see uh, some pullback? So I would say that this week is going to be a test of that. So yes, the stock initially had a good move today. Now tomorrow, I would say Wednesday and Thursday is really going to be the test to see if this particular spike up was a fluke. Was it an overreaction due to uh, an analyst stating how they particularly felt? Now, for me, I view NEO as undervalued right now. And, you know, it, it really doesn't matter what I think, right? The stock is going to do what it does. Short sellers are going to do what they do. People are going to continue to make money no matter which direction this stock goes. But ultimately, you guys know that I'm long term and in reply to the last video that I put out, there wasn't a, a bearish video about NEO. That was just me simply asking a truthful question uh, at the state that the, the stock was last week, right? And so although we went under $5, as I always stated, at that particular point, there's going to be some buying because that that makes the stock severely undervalued now yes we'll probably continue to see some games that are going to be played um but i will say this 
once there's once there's the situation that's going on with these um you know stimulus issues once we start to get uh globally these interest rates reduced down and the closer and closer neo gets to uh zero as it pertains to earnings per share and they get to the point where they're very profitable at that point we know what's going to happen with the stock we know it's going to take off but for a lot of people the patience just isn't there right and so what i would recommend if you're having a hard time dealing with this is continue to invest continue to dollar cost average but i would not be looking at the price action of neo every single day and if that means avoiding looking at videos like this then so be it you know you don't want to be getting your blood pressure raised over short-term prices of neo all right and so i'm just gonna leave that there i'm not one of those people that's gonna tell you to keep looking at the neo videos on on, on my page even just because you know i may get a, a a penny or two or whatever it is off of off of an ad revenue even if i was getting thousands of dollars off 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 of this channel i still would tell you for your health i would not be looking at the price action of neo every day i would not be listening to the news about neo every day and so there is only uh i would say a selected few people that can continue to look at the, the stock price every day and not be swayed one way or another with the with the decision of their investment okay so if it's going to help you out to not look at the price every day then i would do that but for me even if i was one of those type of people that couldn't look at the price every day i still will remain strong on this stock for the long run and i'm talking three four five six seven years down the road and in fact when we think about this particular sector and i've said this before we're still in a, a new phase of technology these ev uh stocks ev technology this is still relatively new and so there are going to be ebbs and flows there's going to be volatility but at the end of the day if you believe in this company and you believe in a direction of ev then you know everything's gonna be all right okay so i hope i said something to uh keep you guys in the game because i would hate to see you guys lose out on a lifetime of wealth getting emotional with your investments and leaving leaving money out on the table okay so i appreciate you guys for being here with me today please hit that thumbs up as we continue to grow the channel and i'm out guys peace